Welcome back everyone. So today we are going to be creating one of those trending images that is going around with a really nice noisy pattern going on with a prismatic look or you can see a really nice thin film kind of color going on. So these type of abstract are really trending right now on Instagram. So we'll be creating that. It's really easy to do and pretty simple. So this will be a short video. Before getting into the video, I just got a new mechanical keyboard and unfortunately it's a blue switch. So it is going to be a bit noisy. Uh, so bear with me for today. Tomorrow I'll be switching back to my old keyboard for the tutorial purpose. So with that said, let's get into it. So first thing I'm going to do is quickly take a plane, scale this up, bring this up. And since this is an abstract art, we are not limited by the subdivision amount. But if you are, uh, then you can lower this down. So we are going to start off by 200 subdivision. I think that is fairly good enough. And then later on, we are going to subdivide it with Arnold's subdivision. Anyway, so we'll apply a new material. Let's take a stand surface and we can call it noisy maybe. Something like this. And let's get into the hypersheet. And in the hypersheet, I'm going to go to the graph network. Right click on the shader and graph network. And this is just our basic material. So what I'm going to do is quickly go to my search bar and I'm going to type for noise. And here you'll find AI noise, which is Arnold's noise. And um, so here are a couple of options. Octaves are, we have already discussed a lot about noise. But if you don't know, octaves are the overall quality of your noise. Distortion will kind of distort your noise. So if I increase the octave, you'll notice, wait, let me just increase the amplitude amount. All right, so this is your noise right now and the octaves has been set to 8. If I lower this, slowly your noise will lose, uh, you can see the detailing. And lacunarity is somewhat similar, uh, but yeah, you can see the whole scaling. For this type of effect, we are not going to be using a very high amount of octaves. Usually we do, but for this purpose, I'm going to keep it to 3. And the distortion will be, we want distortion just a little bit, so I'm going to keep it to somewhere like about 0.5. And uh, the lacunarity can be somewhere about one. So here you'll see that we have created a really nice and smooth noise pattern for the displacement purpose. We can create some fancy like this, but for this purpose, we are going to keep it pretty low. All right, so for the last thing, amplitude, the overall strength of your noise, I'm going to decrease this to 0.4 since we are trying to create a pretty smooth noise. All right, so this has been done. I'm going to attach this to the displacement and let's see what we have. Okay. And uh, let's quickly take a simple skydome light for the light purpose. And let's take Arnold's IPR. All right, so this is what we have. Unusual displacement going on here, if you'll notice. All right, not too bad. Okay, so one thing you'll notice is the displacement amount is a bit too high and the scale amount of the noise is a bit too high as well. So how do we fix this? We'll go into the displacement. And in the displacement, you'll notice that we have the scale amount. Now let's look this into the hypersheet. So I'm going to disconnect this quickly and let's try to understand how the noise is working. So if I increase, uh, obviously these are the coordinates of axis like X, Y and Z. So if I change one axis to something like maybe 5, you'll start to see a bit more stretching uh, in that axis, stretching noise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit 3 for the value of 3 for the X axis and I guess 3 for the Y as well. But for the Z, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pretty higher value, maybe like somewhere about 60. And you won't see the displacement in the Z direction because since this is a simple 2D plane. So you'll only get X and Y, but you'll see the displacement happening in the plane. So you, if you want much larger or smaller noise, what you can do is increase the value of X and Y as well. All right, so let's see how the Z depth uh, or Z displacement is working on this plane. I'm going to close this, go to the IPR and now you'll see we have much nicer pattern going on. Now obviously there's one issue and that is a bit too high intense displacement going on. So how do we fix this? We go to the plane, displacement attribute and here you'll see the height value has been set to 1 which is a default value. We are going to reduce it to somewhere about 0.1 maybe. Right, that seems uh, good enough. We can use that or maybe I think... 0 0.050 that looks good all right so this is how the overall noise works so you can always go back and change anything that you don't like now here if you'll zoom in you'll notice that we do have some issue around here and that is the rigid edges going around and the reason is because we don't have enough subdivision in our plane so to fix this what you are going to do is quickly add a subdivision cataclysm and make it 
let's make it two for now and for the fine rendering you can switch it to maybe something like three all right so i'm going to close this and i'm going to create a new camera let's get into your camera and let's set a nice view to something like this and let's turn on your film gate and i'm going to select my camera by clicking on this icon or you can also select it by going from your panel and in the rotation i'm also going to add a bit more like two value of z rotation and that's it and i'm going to lock my camera just to add a bit of cinematic scene all right so let's get into the ipr again and we'll switch it to our main camera all right so from here i'm going to quickly get into my ipr perspective view and i'm going to delete the skydome light all right so let's start off by taking a simple directional light and we'll rotate this to somewhere maybe like this let's see if that works and for the shade i'm gonna not going to use the base color uh, i'm gonna use some thin film let's increase this to something like maybe 270 let's add some metalness into this all right so this looks good and I'm going to select this light, go to Arnold and increase the exposure to something like maybe 2 and the angle as well. Let's add some samples. This looks good. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to rotate this again to a different direction. Just so we have multiple shading going on. Alright, so we have something like this. Click on your plane, go to your noise and from here you can pretty much play around with the IOR and if you don't know about thin film, I have already made a video on this. I think it's called the bubble shader. And from here you can just play around with the different thickness values and some IR values to get uh, the desired look you are looking for. So this is a pretty interesting shader. Apart from this, if you are still not satisfied with the overall look, what else you can do is you can select your light and you can give a certain color to those light as well. Uh, then you have to remove a bit of thin film and I'm going to give more samples to the specular here for both of these light. All right, so I'm going to duplicate this light one more time and let's rotate this until we get, I'm going to increase some exposure for this. Let's make it three and let's change the color to something like maybe a yellow. All right. All right, so this looks pretty good to me. I'm pretty happy with the result. If you can't see it, you can increase a bit more exposure into this and you can always go back and change the thin film if you don't like anything. Just have fun with it, play around with it, see what you come up with. You can play around with the IOR as well. All right, guys, so that's it. It was a pretty short video, pretty amazing. And uh, if you have some more issue with the subdivision, like here, what you can do is simply go into your plane and increase some more subdivision value and you'll start slowly start to see uh, the rigidness going away. So keep increasing the cataclysm unless and until you have a pretty low end PC then you have to be limited with the subdivision otherwise you can go crazy with it. Alright so that's it for this one I'll see you in the next video.